Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Bat The Batman, not to be confused with the, the, two, the 2004 TV show, The Batman. This is based on the Matt Reeves Batman film starring Robert Pattinson. Selena Kyle, made by Spin Master. Take a look at the packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and the accessories. Man, Spin Master really shows some of the accessories. Unlike their, they made like, you know, figures, but with the mysterious boxes. And you can see the figure here. You get the name, the Batman logo. Spin Master is recommended for HS3+. And here's the barcode if you want to look for this figure for yourself. And on the back, you can see there's the image of the figure and this little feature that came with like one of those cards, red things. So anyway, that's about it. Let's take out Selena Kyle out of the package. Here is Selena Kyle out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Take a closer look at the head sculpt. The head likeness to the actress who plays Selena Kyle. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's okay. I see it a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, I just think Spin Master is not really good with the unmasked head sculpt of the figure. Yeah, it's a bit odd on this figure, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still a, it's like a, it's, it's really a not that great looking head sculpt, to be honest. Oh, man. And take a look at her outfit that she is wearing. Well, this is her, well, biker outfit type. You can see the, 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 um, glossy on her outfit. You can see there's like a little belt gold paint, a little belt buckle painted silver, silver there. You see there's like a little, some sort of zipper line on her suit there and on the back. On her back, you see there's like some sort of a texturing, deep texture there. And take a look at her hands. You can see both hands have her like holding on to her accessories. And whoops. Let's move on, move on to her legs. You can see some of the legalese on her legs there. And you can do her leather, leather high boots. You can see like the little heel there. On the bottom, you can see more texturing detail there. And on the bottom, there's two peggles on the bottom of her feet there. But overall for the figure itself, well, the whole body is not too bad, but her head sculpt, yeah, I really wish that Spin Master should have done a little bit better or even better Put her on her ski mask so I want to see her horrendous face. Yeah. Articulation the head does go fully rotate. The arms do go fully rotate, does go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows. Legs kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation and bend at the knees and rotate. So that's about it. Overall, it's just a standard Spin Master articulation, but you can still give her some, well, not really crazy posability, some action pose, some a little bit of posabilities to her. Accessories, she does come with a few accessories. She does come with her gloves, which is, that has a peg there that you can put on. And I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be like the cat claws that, scra that scratches, you know. Also, she does come with this blade thing here, which I have no idea what this is for. I've never seen this in the trailer. I have no idea why. And finally, she does come with this, her usual whip with that strange handlebar, which is a bit strange. So you actually put on each side of her hand, like so. Maybe on the top. Like that, there we go. And maybe give her like this blade here so you can 
easily. Okay, maybe it's a bit too big, so I'm not gonna splatter like that. Also, we need to find out, like, like what type of light she uses throughout the movie. Is like so. There we go. Well, that's the pose I'm probably gonna splay her with. And finally, she does come with this red thing, evidence card. I have no idea what these are called anyway. You pull out this um this um card here. You can see there's like a squinkly lines covered up, and you put it back, and then you put it here, just like so. And it shows this some sort of a blueprint image. You see there's there it's the image of I'm gonna say the Bat Cycle that Robert Pattinson's Batman rides. You know, like chasing down Catwoman or Penguin or anyone. Yeah. I I, I really like the, the feature that it came with, I'll be honest. Yeah, no, I really like these um little trading card trading cards or evidence cards, whatever these are. Yeah, I'd say they're they're not too bad. But overall for the figure itself, mm, the figure is alright to be honest. It's not really by far the best looking figure. It is obviously not really the worst, obviously for me. Well it is a kid's toy, so so any kid would really care about the figure. For an adult collector as well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the figure itself is still or is still an art is a, uh, a an okay figure I would say. Articulation standard DC Spin Masters articulation. And the whole sculpting on the figure looks really good. The uh, likeness to the actress who plays her, well, not so much to be honest. Accessories are not too bad. I don't mind the whip, the knife. I, it's a really a bit confusing, like which is from. And the gloves, well, I, I I have no idea what am I supposed to do with these. But I did like the card evidence thing. But at the end of the day, it's still really not the best Catwoman figure in the in the DC toy worlds. But hey. Spin Master, I just think they. I really wish like they done with the masked version of her instead of like you know the unmasked version of her. For my rate, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give Selena Kyle a. I'll give her a six out of ten. Yeah, a six out of ten. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the The Batman Selena Kyle figure made by Spin Master. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.